Hello everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to offer some closing words. First of all, it's great to have this side event on freight transport in this climate week. It shows we're not afraid of freight, and rightfully so, because road freight is 62% of CO2 emissions and freight transport worldwide. So we need to act. And the technologies are there, so we can act. In fighting climate change, we need to build a less vulnerable and a more sustainable logistics system. Helping speed up zero emission commercial vehicles worldwide is priority in this. And it's my ambition to keep the importance of freight high on the political agenda, given the great potential for and benefits. That is what this series has done. A lot is happening. We can see momentum is now growing and there is a shift happening towards zero emission freight. It's not something in the future. We can make it happen here and now. I enjoyed opening the series of events during the kickoff session last May. And I'm very happy to see the progress and learning that have been collected so far. For example, six countries signed on the Drive to Zero campaign focusing on commercial vehicles only last week. And of course, I hope that more will follow suit. And also all current and announced zero emission commercial vehicles can now be found in Carlstart's online tool. Worldwide, we need more ambition from industry and at the policy level. Both are crucial and we see it happen. The industry, at least let's be able to match the current demand for zero emission freight vehicles. It is my aspiration to put out a bold number. At the COP26, industry should commit to ambitious production deadlines with significant target numbers for zero emission freight vehicles. But of course, we also need to, make, to have policies to make this possible. The two go hand in hand. And here there's developments too. China and California already have a combination of CO2 reduction targets and a compulsory sales and purchase quota. In the Netherlands, we have announced the end of new fossil fuel car sales by 2030 and we're working on freight vehicles. Now it's time to find fitting regulations to accelerate freight in the European context. A sales and purchase requirement in the EU would definitely be a big help. We should continue to drive these collective efforts. Therefore, as chair of the Transport Decarbonisation Alliance, I have initiate, initiated a high-level meeting in the first week of December. This en route to COP26 event aims to drive action to zero carbon transport now. And I would like to invite you to be there and help speed up the action. That is an invitation on behalf of all the co-organising organisations. Please email the TDA if you'd like to receive such an invitation. I really hope to see you all in the next step of this journey. See you in December, I trust. And let's jointly make this happen. It is not the future. It is in the present and for us to drive that change now. Thank you very much.